everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be giving you an update on my hair growth journey and just letting you guys know really quickly what I've been up to with my hair and how it's doing right now. I will say this, that my hair videos are probably my most commented on videos that I have. And it's basically, I get asked pretty much the same questions. One, is my hair growing? Two, do I have length? A three am I still doing the treatment and like what order am I doing the treatments and so I will link my previous hair journey videos in the description box but I really think that if you are serious about um, a hair growth journey and, and I'm not talking about length either I'm talking about if you suffer from hair loss alopecia hormonal hair loss things like that you will want to definitely watch those videos because you're gonna see me on this three-year journey committing a lot of mistakes and having some triumphs and failing sometimes and winning sometimes but really just going through the going through the trial and error of getting from there where my hair was really really bald and I very thin on top to where I am now where it's less thin and it is thriving as you can see so yeah, just to get this out of the way really quickly, I have devoted an entire video to the, <laughs> this holy trinity that I have here, and that is the Rogaine, the Olaplex, and the Ordinary Hair Serum. And this is the Minoxidil, aka Rogaine, that I'm using right now. I'm using, I think this is the Target brand. I use the treatment for men, so I only use it once a day. For men, they use it twice a day, but for women, they recommend using this once a day. So I'm still using this. I am still using my ordinary multi-peptide ser multi serum for hair density. And that's what this looks like. Um, I'm still using the Olaplex before every wash day. I'm actually doing a video on this as well because I tried the ordinary number zero have a video on the full line of Olaplex for type 4 hair. I will also link that down below if you want to take a look at that as well. So yes, I am still using those three ingredients. However, I am not using those three ingredients daily any longer. I have started a supplement and I believe that the supplement that I'm taking kind of fills in the gaps that I get from using just topical because now I am taking supplements and it's kind of healing me from the inside so I've learned that when I take these supplements I don't have to be as diligent about taking the minoxidil and the ordinary hair serum every single day so now I'm taking it every other day it just it all depends on my scalp and because I'm not taking the serums every single day I can now go a lot longer without washing my hair. So now I'm washing my hair instead of I was doing it like every three days or twice a week or something like that. Um, now I'm doing it probably once every two weeks. And sometimes I can go three, but I try to stick to two weeks. That is that. That is the update on the Olaplex. So the Olaplex now, instead of using it twice a week, I'm using it more like once or twice a month now. And I still think that it does well, but the thing with being on a hair growth journey is that sometimes your hair you could be using the best products but then sometimes you just reach a point where your hair is stagnant where it's no longer growing and I felt like I reached that and I wasn't really ready to give up I thought that my hair could be a lot better healthier and denser than what it was and that's why I decided to try Nutrafol now Nutrafol was referred to me by my dermatologist it's not something I started taking right away I actually I was well what, two and a half years into my hair growth journey before I started taking Nutrafol I've always taken hair supplements but I just wasn't really sure if they were working or not um, I took like hair vitamin gummies and things like that but you know I'm sure they work but I didn't see a noticeable appreciable difference until I started taking Nutrafol <laughs> This is the Nutrafol, so I'm taking Nutrafol for women. And this is that right here. And I'm also taking their vitamin B booster. I 
wanted you guys to know that I have been taking. These are all, two of these are empty, one is almost empty. I actually have my fourth bottle in the mailbox outside. It was just delivered yesterday. I have not taken it out because it's it's hot. I'm gonna do it tomorrow or tonight. But I'm going into my fourth month here. And so I really wanted to wait to see if I was going to get some really good results. And that's another thing I wanted to address. I know a lot of people are frustrated that I don't do hair updates every month or even every three months like a lot of other YouTubers. And that's because my hair growth journey is a lot different. I am not growing for length, although that is certainly happening now that I'm taking the Nutrafol. But I'm growing for density and volume and sometimes it takes a long time to really notice the effects when you're using a new hair product because you have to go through several growth cycles in order to really start seeing a change. I know that it's frustrating but if I'm not making an update video for months that's because I have nothing to share with you guys. You're not going to see any difference day to day. You're not going to see any difference week to week. And sometimes I don't see any difference even month to month. It took a whole almost three months for me to really start seeing the effects of the Nutrafol in my hair after I started taking the vitamins. So it would have done no good to give you guys a one month update of taking Nutrafol because nothing was happening yet. But it is now. I don't want to sit here and just read from the website or read from the label about what it does. Like I said, this was recommended by my dermatologist. I know that a lot of dermatologists do recommend um, Nutrafol. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what's in it. It does have vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, biotin, iodine or iodine, zinc, selenium and their own synergen complex which is like some kind of proprietary mix or blend that they use in the vitamins this is not vegan it does have marine collagen in it types one and three i believe let's see yep types one and three and some other things in it um again i really encourage you to go to the website to go on review sites to read about it to see what the side effects might be to see if there are any ingredients in here that you might be allergic to or might not be good for your body or anything like that. For me, I thought this was pretty natural and pretty safe, pretty safe to use. My biggest hurdle actually was actually taking the pills because I have an eating disorder. One of my symptoms of my eating disorder is the inability to swallow very large things like pills. So I was worried about it and that's why it took me so long to kind of try this out because I didn't get cured of that or I didn't start getting better until I went into recovery. So you do have to take four of these pills and I'm just going to show you. So you do have to take four. There's no no breaking them in half or anything you have to take them i'm going to show them to you oh but for me they're they're pretty large surprise i am able to take them with no issue so i have to take four of those every morning that's how you get the full amount of all of the vitamins and things they can't pack it all into one but they can pack it all into four so that's what you have to do if you're not going to take four probably don't bother <laughs> you know if you can't take them i i bought these and i was scared that i wouldn't be able to swallow them but you can like add these to drinks and smoothies and things like that so i said i am going to commit to this if i can't swallow i will add them to a smoothie every morning I will do some kind of smoothie routine and I will take them that way even though I knew that putting four vitamins worth of anything in a smoothie would most likely be disgusting I was still committed to trying this because I just thought that there was something missing from my hair regimen so I wasn't really taking care of myself from the inside and I knew just from past experience that diet and supplements do play a part in your skin being clear, your hair being healthy, your nails being long and healthy. 
definitely and I've definitely noticed an improvement in all of those things well not my skin I haven't noticed anything different with my skin but my nails definitely are growing much longer and they're much stronger than they used to be and of course my hair is doing so much better yeah I take the four vitamins every morning I do not skip a single morning I've never skipped ever you have to be dedicated when you decide that you're going to keep your hair you have to know that you are making a commitment, a long-term commitment, whether that's putting on topical treatments or taking supplements or getting doing microneedling or steroid shots or anything like that. You have to do it. You can't just say, okay, I'm going to do it and then do it for a week and then never pick up the treatment again. This has been a long and grueling and just very interesting past three years for me. I have done a lot of things right and a lot of things wrong, but I stuck in there even when I just wanted to give up and throw on a wig. And I'm so happy I did, but you're not gonna see results if this is something that you are just gonna do when you remember or give, give it two weeks to work or even a month to work. And you're like, oh God, it's not working. I don't wanna spend this money. No, you have to keep going. If you can, keep going you'll see results no matter what you do. When you go onto the website, you are asked to take a quiz and they will ask you things about your lifestyle, your stress levels, your diet, things like that. And for me, they recommended an add-on booster, which is the vitamin B booster. And they recommended this because I have a high stress life. I have very bad anxiety, even though it's well controlled right now. I still have it so they suggested a booster along with my vitamins which I do take every day I have to take two two dropper fulls of this every day and no it's not good <laughs> it's not like the most disgusting thing I've ever had but it's not good either I just I put it under my tongue for 30 seconds and then I wash it down with my drink whatever I'm drinking so my body needed a vitamin B boost to combat stress and what's in this is vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b9 and b12 so this is a nice little b vitamin b cocktail so next up is my diet i have mentioned in previous videos that i do have an eating disorder at one point in my hair growth journey i did do some dieting that really negatively impact my my growth journey and my hair ended up falling out I did a low carb high protein diet that had me sitting around five to seven hundred calories a day and my hair fell out so now that I have been in recovery my eating habits are a lot more stable and I'm giving my body more nutrients that it needs to help me with hair growth so that's something that's very very important I'm not saying that she can't diet but she just just need to make sure that you get all of your nutrients in that she, if for me if I go too far left with like cutting out carbs and things like that I'm gonna see it in my hair if I cut out sugar obviously not but like carbs and protein and fat I need all of those things in moderation in order for my hair to look like this so I just want you guys to know that as well my hair washing routines have not changed just the frequency in which I wash has changed like I said now I am only washing my hair once every two to three weeks or so when I used to wash it two to three times a week Nutrafol has my hair so healthy and my scalp healthy as well and I just don't have that need to wash my hair. As a matter of fact, if I wash my hair too often, my scalp does get dry. Taking the Nutrafol, my hair is a lot denser. It is a lot softer. It is a lot fuller and the length i have been really growing my hair mentioned in previous videos that length does not really matter much to me i know that that is very important to a lot of people but for me length is kind of my enemy because when my hair grows too long the weight from my hair 
kind of makes my scalp a lot more visible and it makes my wash and goes and things like that just not look as lush and dense as I would like so plus I have frizzy hair so that just never looks good with long hair I cut my hair in March right before we went into lockdown I cut it again in May and then I trimmed it a little bit in September and my hair it's just they're growing like weeds like it's crazy like I can't I typically try to trim my hair once every two months or so and my hair is just it's growing so much um, I'm gonna sh just insert some footage of me doing my hair this was me doing my hair yesterday and I never do link checks but I said I'm gonna do it because I know people want to know but my hair is dang near the bra strap length and I thought that was crazy because I don't let my hair get that long but it snuck up on me it snuck up on me so after this I'm gonna um, put my hair in a protective style I'm gonna do some braids but after those braids come out I'm cutting it off because yeah I, I don't I don't do well with longer hair I think shoulder length that's perfect I can put my hair in a style like this I can put it in my regular style of two puffs or um, space buns, two space buns or whatever. But just having my hair long, just that does not work for me at all. So I'm not in this for the length, but you might be. And I'm here to tell you that Nutrafol definitely gave me a boost when it came to growing my hair length. And as you can see, it's a lot denser than it is used to be. I used to put the Ordinary Serum all over my scalp and I stopped doing that just because it was I was using a whole lot of this. I was using way too much so now I'm only using the serums right here because this is where I have consistent hair loss. My hair right here and like going back right here it's the courses on my hair that's like my 4c area of my hair is my crown and it's the coarsest but it's also the most fragile so it snaps and it breaks at the drop of a hat it just just does not it's not healthy at all it just really wants to just keep breaking and starting that cycle all over again and i've noticed that since um, I've been using the Nutrafol. I have not. It's actually been growing out. Let me see if I can grab. You can see it's actually now starting to grow out. Before it would be maybe to here. That's about about as much as I would get before it would break off. And now it is all the way down. So I am definitely seeing some positive results from using the Nutrafol there. And again, I'm still using my serums right here. I'm not using my serums all over my hair anymore and I stopped using the ordinary serum on my hairline the minute I started taking the day I started taking the Nutrafol. I felt like if Nutrafol was going to make my hair thicker I would see it in my temples first because that is where I started losing a lot of my hair just from styling and things like that it wasn't my baby hair, my edges, they're really, really fragile. They're not strong at all. So the Ordinary was bringing my hair back, but it was still like baby fine. It wasn't like real. It was like, um, it was like baby hair, but it grew in enough to where you really couldn't see that I was, my hair was thinning out along the edges. And right here too was really bad. Um, now it is, it's you can see it is freaking hardly you can see it definitely growing in and if I push it all back you don't see anything at all <laughs> and right here in the front I was losing it and now it just looks normal this looks like my normal hairline this is the way my hairline is supposed to look and it didn't start looking like this until I used Nutrafol so if you do have thinning hair around your temples and stuff this definitely will work but I just feel like this works better this works better and I'm not using them together again I don't like putting this stuff all over my head the Nutrafol is doing the job well on its own I don't think Nutrafol I wouldn't take a, a risk of not putting serum treatments 
right here though because that is real serious hair loss and if I don't maintain that I could lose it and not get it back see I, I trim my hair probably every other month or so so I definitely do that because my hair is type 4 is low porosity the ends let me see the ends will always get like frizzy let me see yeah that's better they'll always get frizzy and just need some extra TLC but after a while they just can't be saved so I just go ahead and cut them off because of my low porosity my hair just does not retain a lot of moisture and hydration so the ends definitely suffer and that's another reason why I decide to cut my hair so often because I don't want those turning into split ends and I don't want them breaking off I would rather get it off evenly in an even fashion than to just wait for it to fall out or break or split wrap the hair strand or whatever so always protect your hair at all times I get FaceTime calls sometimes and people are like why are you wearing your bonnet it's three o'clock in the afternoon I wear my satin bonnet all the time like 24 7 because for the same reason why I wear it before I go to bed for the same reason you guys wear it uh, bonnets silk bonnets and silk scarves and silk pillows because you're trying to protect your hair if I'm sitting on the couch and I'm playing Animal Crossing and I'm laid out and watching you know the Golden Girls or Riverdale or something like that and and I'm playing and my hair is going back and forth against my couch that's pulling at my hair and this is the most sensitive part of my hair so I have to protect it if I'm sitting against my headboard reading a book or playing Animal Crossing you know it's going to rub against my headboard I don't need that snatching my hair out so yeah I wear bonnets so yeah you guys wear your bonnets and your scarves and things wear it when you're laying on the couch and just wear it okay it's gonna help your hair the same way it's gonna help it at night so I'm just gonna spin around really quickly and let you guys see the back of my hair so this is the back, as you guys can see, this is uh, my hair, it's just blow dried, but you know, I don't have any other kind of heat on it or anything like that. And you can see that my hair is still pretty thin at the top, but it's not so bad. It doesn't bother me anymore. It's just that way. <laughs> okay, so I think that I hit all of the notes that I wanted you guys to know about. I just really, really, really like this Nutrafol and I highly recommend it. I pay I think $50 a month. If, if I'm wrong I'll put something up on the screen letting you guys know that I'm wrong but I think that I pay about $50 a month for the vitamins and then another additional $10 for the vitamin B boosters. So it is not cheap. It is not inexpensive but it does work and I think for me it's worth the money and it's worth the investment in my health. My nails and everything look really really good so yeah I think it's worth it I don't think that I have any kind of referral code for Nutrafol if I do I will leave that in the description box as well there are all kind of codes that you can use for first time sign up things like that so just go and find you one if I don't have one in my description box so that's it you guys I think that I hit every Point that I wanted to make. So basically, Rogaine, The Ordinary, Olaplex, Nutrafol, Vitamin Boosters, Diet, um, Taking Good Care of Your Scalp, Trimming Your Hair, um, and Protecting Your Hair at All Times is what's definitely in consistency. Consistency is the most important thing. If you know that you're not going to keep up with the hair routine, don't do it because like in some cases you start taking mon minoxidil and then you stop your hair falls out and then it's very hard to get back to that original point where your hair had started to grow when you first started taking the minoxidil so I'm just letting you know consistency is definitely up there as one of the most important things that you can do when you're trying to encourage hair growth and that's it for this video you guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I will respond all of the information and everything that I use will be in the description box so check there and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe 
I will do an update when it's time for me to do an update on this, okay? <laughs> when I'm ready for it, when I can see it, all right, I'll do an update. But anyway, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.